What is good, Ebenezer? It's Stock J back with another video, and in this one, I'm going to be talking about the one and only AMC stock breakdown, the FTDs for you guys. Do a comparative analysis of AMC's FTDs with other tickers out there, such as Tesla and Ape. And talk about why on earth AMC is very manipulated. Why we're seeing so many FTDs, which are which tend to be like way higher than any other stocks out there and what this means for the future considering the fact that there's so much manipulation now before i break anything down about amc and ape and talk about the ftds i do have to mention a couple of things before starting firstly i'm not a financial planner don't take any of this as financial advice whatsoever and also if you guys can please smash the like button if you want to see more videos like this not only benefits me but benefits the entire ape community as a whole and the last thing is if you guys can please check out the mumu link down below and in the description if you sign up for mumu the link down below and deposit a hundred dollars into the account you're guaranteed up to 15 free stocks each worth up to two thousand dollars the best part is any of these 15 free stocks could be a free amc share a free tesla share or a mix of all of them it's limited time offer the offer ends in just two days check it out before they run out with that out of the way let's get on with the video so looking at amc and ape we could easily tell that the price action is not natural whatsoever as soon as ape came out i got a nice push up to about 10 bucks and since then it's been crumbling it's crumbling down excuse me and we are seeing this thing just coming down and down and down and part of the reason as to why we're seeing both amc and ape come down is because of manipulation which they've been using through the options chain now ape has a tendency of having lots of advantages over amc such as the t plus zero settlement system not to mention the fact that there is no true options chain solely for ape but despite that they're still finding ways to continue to make it tumble down and that's because they're allowing it to drop with the overall market however one of the things that we can actually use as an indication of the manip manipulation and the big tactics that they are using would be looking at the ftds a quick refresher on this if you don't remember what they are is ftds refer to a situation where one party one party in a trading contract whether it's shares futures options or forward contracts doesn't deliver on their obligation such failures occur when a buyer the party with the long position doesn't have enough money to take delivery so there are two ways that can happen on the long side and on the short side failure to deliver is referred to not being able to uh, meet one's trading obligations in the case of buyers not having cash is what it means in the case of in the case of sellers it means not having the goods the reckoning of these obligations occurs at a trade settlement failures to deliver can also uh, happen when selling shorts naked or naked short selling is occurring so once again this is very clear that this is one of the big indications of it and if you look at ape let's just start off with ape ape was very suspicious the first time it came out we had 43 million ftds the second day like 38 million the third day things like right here 24 million then after that you know it was coming down as ape was dropping 11 plus a million so in total there have been over 130 million ftds on ape very suspicious right very very suspicious for amc historically we've actually seen them happen for quite a bit of time let me reload this and actually bring us uh, back to where we were in the beginning so this is what the chart looks like if we remove the price from here we can actually see the latest FTDs. So this was going on since like 2014. It was very minor and FTDs happen like every day to stocks, but they tend to happen in amounts of like 200, maybe that's just a few thousand at the very most. But then around 2018, AMC had a few days where there, it was getting like 70,000, 700,000 here and there. So it wasn't as extreme back then. And in 2019 comes it becomes a little bit more extreme 2020 comes and it becomes crazy let's actually zoom into 2020 you guys could see starting off in january we start to get a few million a day then we start to get two million a day three million five million 2021 comes we start getting 36 million a day 40 million a day this day we, we got about 27 million those were 4 million sorry about that 27 million in a day we were getting like 13 million in a day this day we had like over 5 million and recently back in like june 2022 we got almost 10 million in just one day and recently just a couple of weeks ago we had 2 million in a day so all these ftds you know people argue that they may have to get covered too the problem with these ftds is the fact that the sec is doing nothing to actually mitigate these practices they're not actually working hard to stop it or regulate it and i don't really want to count on them when it comes to transparency and things like that i don't really think they're going to help us at all we already know why 
And the same can be said about other, you know, entities out there. I don't really see them helping us. I just think that they're going to let this kind of like slide. However, what's interesting about this is on the bottom, they mentioned on the SEC's website, notes that failure to delivers can occur for a number of reasons on both long and short sales. Therefore, fails to deliver are not necessarily the result of short selling and they're not evidence. So when I think about this is the fact that it's just an excuse because the thing is they could happen because of short selling, right? If there's an FTD, it's not guaranteed to always happen because of short selling. But in the case of AMC with so much buying pressure over the last two years, crazy amounts of buy pressure, yet the share price dropped. It's as clear as day what is going on, in my honest opinion. And I don't really count on the SEC. Now, if you look at like Tesla, for example, which is known for being manipulated, this thing was uh, crazy on some days to get like 500,000 FTDs, but almost every day this thing was getting like, what, 5,000 FTDs, 2,000 FTDs. If you look at this very recently, let's zoom into Tesla. Tesla has a bigger market cap, so it's not its volume can be very high despite that. It was getting like half a million FTDs. At the most we've ever seen is about 1.3 million of these FTDs in a day, which is still much lower than what Ape and AMC were getting. Lots of tickers out there. Another one, another one we could kind of look at is let me just look for another one like pins. This is going to be for like Pinterest. Look at Pinterest. It's also notorious for being manipulated. If we hide the price, why is this not working? If you hide the price and look at the failure to delivers, this thing was getting like 17, it was at 1.7 million in the day. The most this thing would get it would be some instances of about 5 million. But the majority of days, this thing was getting, let me just see when these load, about 4,000 a day, 5,000 a day, small amounts of FTDs. One day it was getting like 500,000 a day, but most days it's only getting like 5,000, 4,000, 2,000 here and there. Very few amounts of them compared to AMC and GME. And we can actually look at GME, I think, right here. Let me see if GME actually loads up. GME has the same problem, getting these FTDs on a daily basis. If we look at GME, I mean, I was actually looking at GME just a couple of days ago. It also has a ton or like a lot of these FTDs. If we hide the price and look at the FTDs, this thing was getting how many? Like over a million in a day for many days over. And there were a few days where this thing was getting about, what is that, like 30? That's over like 3 million in a day, not 30 million, but 3 million in a day. So crazy amounts of manipulation for both GME and AMC. I really believe that if these are truly indicative of naked short selling, which is very possible, then when shorts do end up covering, whether it's because of the market recovery or a market crash, either of those could be the catalyst, market crash could be the big one. The short positions will be covered, in my opinion, during one of those. And it could lead to the FTDs being covered too, because these were, you know, naked short selling that's not even like known to be happening because of real shares. So the play for AMC is not dead whatsoever. I think it would be important for information like this to be exposed for the majority of people to know about this. And it's very important for us to know what is going on and why we're still fighting on and not giving up. So thank you all for listening. The play is not dead. The squeeze potential is still there. And I'll see you guys in the next one. AMC to the moon because the long-term future is bright. And peace out.